Welcome to another BBN pre-tournament show. I'm Alex Guerin. With me, Milan Tomic. Howdy. This week we're headed down to St. Louis for the Aldo de la Croce Memorial Tour. That's at the Italia America Bocce Club on the Hill, a historic neighborhood in St. Louis. Beautiful club, beautiful courts, warm welcoming people. Absolutely cannot wait for this one. And it's a can't miss on our tour calendar. You excited, Milan? Uh, really excited. So uh, last year was actually my first time uh, playing in the tournament and got to see those courts, which are some of my favorite in the co- uh, country. Uh, competition was great. Uh, over the year, uh, as knowing them on the court first, the Dragos and Mancusos, uh, now I've gotten them to know them a little bit more off the court. Uh, there's also the, uh, the Emos will be there. Uh, I owe Nick a favor for beating me at Nationals, so looking forward to getting down there, playing again, and just uh, showcasing to everyone the courts through the BBN. Yeah, so this year not only are we playing, but we're also co-anchoring the BBN broadcast. We'll be out there uh, all weekend filling these chairs. A little help from our engineer, Dave Hoffman. Uh, we'll probably pull some some player friends of ours to sit in the booth with us too. Um so hopefully we don't meet in the finals. Yeah. Well, it hasn't happened yet. So, <laughs> uh, And then, of course, too, anyone uh, that's uh, familiar with the club or uh, wants to talk about the club, uh, we always welcome you into the booth to share some of the things that we might not be too familiar with uh, to help showcase the club on the BBN. Yeah. The, no matter what the cast of characters, I think everything's going to fall into place really nicely this weekend. Um, and speaking of falling into place, great tournaments like this, you know, they don't just happen. They are the product of a lot of hard work, a lot of trust within the bocce community and the support of many. So uh, before we get into it, I do want to shout out this year's uh, platinum sponsors for the Aldo. That's uh, Calcaterra Funeral Homes. That's the local IBEW chapter. Are We There Yet Tours and the Pagano Land Development Company. Thank you very much for all of the resources and contributions to help make a tournament like this happen. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you to all those sponsors. And there's a, a dozen others, uh, just to shout out some few, or uh, the Zona family, the Santa family, and Milos, uh, and the Bocce Bar right next door for all your support. Um, yep. All right, so let's kick off really quickly with the format of this tournament so everyone tuning in can understand. Uh, per tradition, this tournament, the Aldo is going to kick off on Friday night, run all day Saturday, and conclude on Sunday. Uh, this is actually two tournaments built into one. There's the Laura Della Croce, which is the women's tournament, and then the Gian Piermo Della Croce, which is the men's, or more accurately, the open division, because you don't have it's a co-ed if it wants to be, but they do still run both the yeah. tournaments. So we have group play. Uh, teams will emerge, whoever comes on top of the group play will advance into the bracket play, which then it becomes single elimination. So firstly, we're going to cover quickly the women's tournament, and then we're going to cover the uh, open tournament and go from there. So oh. Alex, what do you know about the women's tournament? Well, I know that the playmates are the reigning champs, and that is uh, Susan Zona and Sally Drago's team. They play with Gal Morris and Julie Sana. So, um, again, you know, we've mentioned all these names before. These are four prominent names in the in the IABC community. Um, they will be the team to beat. I was also looking through the list of players here and realized um, that you've got a couple teammates on here as well, right? I did. I got to go play in uh, Cleveland at Molasani uh, and become an honorary Bada Bling for a weekend. Uh, so shout out to Sally, Mary Jo, and Michelle. Uh, doesn't look like they're all playing on the same team, though, for here. So the Playmates are the returning champs. Uh, so Sally's on that team. Hi, Sally. Uh, and then the Bocce Girls Gone Wild, I believe. Mary Jo and Michelle are on that team. So uh, I know how well they can play, so I'm going to just put them as a front runner out of pure bias. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, that. I love that. And then for a lot of the people we haven't had a chance to meet yet, we would love to meet you uh, down there. Come tell us your story, maybe some of your Bocce accolades. Uh, so that way we can know more when we talk on this broadcast. Yeah, of course, yeah. And then, you know, looking through this list of players, a lot of these names are new to me. St. Louis and Kansas City, really well represented in this 20-team division of all women. And uh, and we actually have one upstart from Chicago coming, so shout out to La Vida Meatball, uh, which are four, you know, relatively new Chicago players. So to see these young ladies, Carmen, Franny, Vicky, and Annie, um, take the trip to St. Louis and put themselves out there. That's really cool. They're going to get a lot of experience this weekend. Yeah, what's the fastest way to get better? It's yeah. To put yourself out there and just kind of take your lickings and learn. Yeah, so good luck to them. Um, 
and I'm sure they're going to really enjoy the facilities at the IABC. Yeah, absolutely. Whoosh. Good. All right, and now let's get into our uh, Gian Piero uh, Della Croce division, or open division. Uh, and I'm going to start off with uh, my clear three favorites. Obviously, Highwood Bocce Club, uh, three time in a row reigning champs right now. Uh, Maurizio Pirelli, Leo Giannotti, Anthony LaBarbera, and Miles Russell. Um, I usually go with whoever won it last year is the favorite because that's who you have to beat to take over. Uh, the Salsitia, I'm going to say it in Midwestern, the Sausage Train. Uh, Dan Drago, Cameron Clifton, Vince... Uh, Mancuso and Brad Thayer, all very good players. And, of course, a house team, the IABC. Uh, Greg and Mike Della Croce, Nick Emo, who uh, first time I haven't seen him on the sausage train in a while. So that's going to be an interesting move. And then, of course, Robert Della Croce. So uh, three teams, I think, that uh, teams to beat. Yeah, I, I would say so, too. That's uh, the two best house teams and, uh, you know, a team that's been on an absolute tear from Chicago if you've been following Bocce this year, you've been following, I think, Anthony La Barbera's success, ABC Open, Molasani, uh, dozens of other tournaments. The guy's an absolute machine. Um, Tell and, him everything he knows. And he has, uh, you know, a couple of, uh, oh, by the way, Miles Russell, Leo Giannotti, yeah, Maurizio yeah. on the team. Um, you know, those are your favorites for sure. I think you're in line there. Um, I think the next uh, run of challengers uh, is probably going to be you know i hope chicago heavy um i look at both our teams so so i'm coming i'm playing with with uh andy andy zimmerman frankie estello and lauren mcdermott affectionately known as mcd uh this is a good team this is a team that we finished third in this tournament two years ago i, I wasn't able to show up last year uh you know andy's really been finding his form lately i'm really excited to play with the squad and then last year you finished third hey that's my specialty lately. Yeah, with Vanessa and Donko, and then this year you're adding. Yeah, so last year uh, uh, Robert Bertucci was on that Highwood team, and they won uh, because Miles was in Turkey playing for the U.S., uh, so we poached him. We mm -hmm. got him, and uh, so my, why not take someone that won it and sneak him on your team if you can? Yeah, that's a, that's a really strong team. Um, I believe it's Bertoncini. I'll get it right one day, Robert, <laughs> I swear. Um, a couple other teams that, you know, uh, stick out to me. Volorama, always a solid St. Louis squad. That's um, David Zona is kind of the captain there. Again, the Zona name, you hear a lot about that. Um, our buddy Jerry Camasano had a nice run in at the ABC Open. They won the silver. Uh, I think he's got the same squad coming back with the Scolas and, and, and Vince. So, you know, they'll be in contention. They'll win some games. Um, and even if they don't, there'll be a riot to play against. They're great guys. Um, and then lastly, you know, last time we sat here at the pre-tournament show, we talked about Bad Boy Bocce. That's the, um, that's kind of the gold standard team from Heron. Brad Hill, Chris Newman, Silas Johnson, and, and now Billy Myers. And we, you know, we previewed them. We hoped that they would uh, put on a good show, and they did. They didn't quite win the silver, but uh, what they did do is win our skills challenge. Uh, hey. They sort of made a name for themselves. So I know that Heron and Murfreesboro come out for this particular tournament, and I think this is a year where you're going to see a deep run by one of those Heron or Murfreesboro yeah, teams. Yeah, don't be surprised if they upset and knock someone out uh, through in the uh, round-robin play. Yeah, they're competitors. And then uh, lastly, I want to give a shout-out to my boy Pete, Pistol Pete, the Punisher. Pete! Haven't seen him since the Heron tournament in April this year, the Murfreesboro tournament. Looking forward to seeing Pete and his squad um, we'll have some fun with them, too. Um, again, plenty of other teams in this uh, John Piero division. Uh, a lot of talent. We'll see how it shakes out. Right now, Highwood is the team to beat, and there's a lot of us that are going to be looking to do just that. Yeah, absolutely. And again, uh, as I mentioned earlier, too, uh, if we haven't gotten a chance to meet your team or some of your players, uh, always come by. Uh, we'd love to talk about you, showcase you. I'd uh, love to know how long you've been playing, things like that. So uh, as we do these broadcasts further, we can talk more about what we know. And before we sign off, I thought we might take a moment to just touch base on everything that's going on in the American bocce and BBN world. Um, as ABC, I'm excited to announce that we are building more tournaments into our national uh, tournament mission 
Uh, we're kicking off a really fun sort of ambassador invite focused tournament in New Orleans in March, partnering with the Italian American Bocce Club down there. More information to come on that. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and then the big one after that, this is the big, big, big one. This is the ABC Premier, oh. a two-person, high-stakes, oh. international, best-of-the-best best tournament back at Palazzo de Bocce. Uh, you know, obviously one of, if not our most uh, valued venue partner, 10 courts, beautiful facility. Uh, we're talking big Big money here. Um, not necessarily a big buy-in, modest buy-in. A um, lot of bocce, a lot of food and drink, a lot of conversation. You know, we're talking about doing something uh, like a like a conference style with some different conversations that we can have with different organizations if we get some folks from the FIB or CBI out there, as well as USBF, ABC, and others. Um, so keep an eye out for that. That's going to be huge. Um, and it's going to be the first chance that we've brought in international competition, um, in an open bocce focused tournament. Uh, and there's, there's a huge reason for that. And that's because we know that the more that we build a foundation of players through open bocce, we think it's like, you know, easy barrier of entry, uh, very inclusive, great way to get people to fall in love with the sport. That means the more that the U.S. can do on an international level. So that's that's what we're doing. That's how we're so, sort of seeing our fit with the bocce community uh, globally. And, yeah, I'm just really excited about it. I'm excited to announce I'm sure I'm going to bring it up in the broadcast this weekend. So yeah, absolutely. That'd ABC be... premiere, that's uh, going to be May 16th and 17th. Get used to hearing about that. Yeah, and the New Orleans one should definitely uh, – some place that probably most people didn't think associate with bocce was New Orleans. Right. So we're right. putting, hopefully, uh, another great place on the map that will hopefully uh, draw in a lot of people. Uh, so coming up, too, is our one-year anniversary of BBN, and I know I kind of jumped in I'm probably halfway through the year saying I wanted to be a part of it. Um, so I guess kind of like well, people always ask, like, what's our goal with the BBN and what are we trying to do? Uh, I think – the main mission statement for this is that we're trying to put, build a platform which showcases Baji, but not only the sport, but the people and the passion that keep the sport going and alive. Uh, we're always looking to fine tune and we're always trying to improve on what we can do. And that starts with mostly the people that are watching. Uh, we value your input. We take a lot of your input into account. We watch around the country what other people are doing and try to either take from that and learn from it, try to improve it, all that. Uh, our, our counterparts and friends in Ohio, Bocce Bros, are doing the same thing. We love what they're doing. Uh, we're trying to weave this, in, this national community together into one platform where it can just involve everyone. So we appreciate everyone that has helped out. We appreciate everyone that helps uh, push forward the sport, and we look forward to helping it grow next year. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, before we go, just a uh, quick shout out to Mike Sheldon. Uh, who yeah. has uh, been this the, is his baby? Yeah, the brainchild of this thing, and and essentially, you know, approached us a year ago and said, "I'm going to do this Black Friday tournament at the Waterside Club. I'd love to have you guys involved. Uh, I think I've got something special here." And we jumped on board, and we're uh, celebrating the one year with another Black Friday tournament at Waterside at the end of this month, day after Thanksgiving. And that's going to wrap up a year of tournaments featuring USBF Nationals, the ABC Open, the World Series of Bocce, the Las Vegas Open, and now the Aldo. Um, so thanks for uh, kind of hanging around this, this BBN journey with us. Uh, we will see you this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in St. Louis at the IABC, one of the best clubs in America. Can't wait. Bye. <laughs>